Okay, we've gotten to where we've added our name and our title to our website banner. Now, as we indicated earlier, we wanted to add some artwork that signifies something about Texas. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to Adobe Illustrator to create my content for my website banner. Now, as you look at Adobe Illustrator, it looks very similar to Adobe Photoshop. However, there's some big differences. Uh, first of all, you have, again, on this side, you have your layers that you have normally with Adobe Photoshop, but as with here with Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and collapse that. Over here, you have your tools panel on the left-hand side. Now, the tool we need to start creating with is going to put a star out here with the letters T-E-X-A-S around that star. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Shapes command and hold this down. I'm going to hold this down, and it's going to come up and have this pop-up me. I'll come out to the far right, and I'll tear that off. I'll tear that off. I'll set it up here to the side. Now, I'm going to come over here and grab my pen tool, tear it off as well, set it up here about right there. Then I'll come over here to my direct selection tool and tear it off as well. These are the tools that I commonly use all the time. I use my uh, pen tool, uh, convert anchor point tool, direct selection tool, and then I'll also use my shapes tool. This is pretty simple, so right now what I'm going to do is I see these different kind of shapes out here. I see the star. So I'll go ahead and select the star, and I'll come out here, and I'll just click and drag. And there's a star right there. I don't really like the color, so I'm going to change that. I'll come back over here to my swatches menu, pull this out, and I'll find myself a dark, rich color of yellow. Kind of like this one right here. So I'll select that. Now, as I look at this star right here, I notice some things about it that I don't like. I don't like how, how fat it is in the middle. So if I come over here to the right and I click one time, that puts a star in there. I'll do that again, click one time. It opens up the star uh, dialog box. And in this dialog box, I can change some things about it. It has a radius one, which is the outer radius. And it has a radius two, which is the inner radius, these points right here on the star. I can actually make this smaller. I'm going to go ahead and experiment. I'm going to key in 0.8. So I'll delete that, and I'll try creating another star again. Okay, point 0.8 is there. So click and hold. We'll take that around, and there it is. Uh, still not what I want, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this again. And there you can see it, it changes this as well. So I'll come up here, and I'll change that to, let's try 25. Hit OK. And see, there it comes in. That's getting closer to what I want, but not quite there yet. So I'll do this again. And I'm going to key in this time. Key in, uh, let's go ahead and get out of this first of all. And we'll get rid of that one we just created. I'll just hit a uh, click and drag. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that single point again. And this time I'm going to key in 30. What you do is you're creating a proportionally scaled difference in the inner radius and the outer radius. Okay, that looks pretty close. I'll click and drag again and hit that. I'm going to key in 20 this time. Yeah, it looks more like what I want. Yeah, i got a lot of stars here, so let's go ahead and delete these. Get those out. Just hit the, take the selection tool, hit that, hit the delete key here. Get rid of that little star. Get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one. Now I'll move this guy over here to where I have it. Now it's a little big, so I can use my um, uh, free transform tool, holding my shift key down. I can grab this corner and scale that down to what I really want. <clears throat> That's still a little big. That looks pretty good. Now with, with Illustrator like Photoshop, you can use a lot of the same hotkeys. I'll use the Z key to turn on my magnifier, and I can zoom in by clicking and dragging a polygon around that. That looks pretty good. Um, I don't need the black outline, so I'll go ahead and select the uh, stroke uh, uh, command over here. And I'll bring that to the forefront, and then I hit this none, and, I hit, and that takes and turns the stroke off, as you see here. Now, I'm going to go over and open up my Layers menu, and I'm going to rename this layer comes to Warm to Start. Okay? And I'll come down here, and I'll create a new layer. And this time, I'm going to create the letter T for Texas. Uppercase. I'll come over here, and I'll get my font command. And I'll click out here, and there's uh, my font uh, prompt right there. So I can letter T. May have to change my font. 
Yes, I will. I'm going to come up here to Aerial. Before I do that, hit Escape. I'll select that from that. Highlight it. Come up here. And actually, I can just key in A, R. And it prompts me right to Aerial. And then if I want, I can key in Bold. And that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and take it up to 18 to see what that, pit, that looks like. Yeah, I like that. So with that, I'll just kind of select off here to the side. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take and copy that. I'll take my black arrow or my selection tool. I'll put it over the letter and I'll hold my alt key down. I want you to have I hold the alt key down. You'll see a white arrow come up behind it. And I click and drag. And that copies it. I'll click and drag again. It copies it again. I'll click and drag again. It copies it a third time. And click and drag it again. And there's my fifth letter for the letter for the word Texas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check on this artwork for a moment. So let's go ahead and stop for now. Okay, as you can see here, we've gotten uh, their letters put in here. We need to do a little house cleaning first. If you come over here and look at our layers, I'm going to go ahead and lock the star layer, select it and lock it. Then we go back to this T layer and open it up. And you can see I've got all the letter T's in here. So what I want to do now is I want to come down here and select this T, uh, which I believe is the one here with the red on it. So we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to grab this guy and put it up here. And then we're going to see how it changes to green as well. Now what I'm going to do is get my text tool by hitting the T key and select that and turn that to the letter E. Now that's lowercase, so I'm going to hit my cap box and make that uppercase. So with that done, let's come down here to the next letter. Uh, which will be, I believe, this guy right here. And we're going to cancel that. And let's do that here real quick. And we'll call that the letter uh, X. Okay. Hit OK. And it turned that to the letter X. And that really helps me because it shows me the better definition of my letters. So I'm going to create another letter, uh, another layer. And I'm going to drag that layer up there to the top. And I'm going to take the letter X and put it up here on layer 4, as you see. So we're going to go ahead into that layer here. And we're going to select this, and we're going to turn that into an X. Okay, so now you can see I'm starting to lay out my letters. So now I'm going to come down here to this one, double click, change that to the letter A, hit OK. Drag this up to the very top here. It says I can't do that. All right, well, I'll create a new layer, here layer 5, drag this up here. And so I'll take this, highlight that, and make it X. Okay. Take this, highlight it, and make it E. Highlight that, and make it uh, X. Okay, Oops. get these kind of out of order here. Let's kind of go ahead and change all the letters real quick so you know what we got. A and S. Okay, so now that's a little better laid out. <clears throat> so, we've got uh, these letters laid out here. I'm going to drag this one down to there. Drag the X down to here, so I've got my letters laid out correctly. Come up here to the A, create a new layer, and drag the S up onto that. So now I've cleaned up all my layers. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and kind of get a reference as to what that flag looks like. I went out onto the internet and I did a Google search, and I came up with uh, this flag here. That's the original uh, first flag of the Texas Republic, and that's kind of what I'm shooting for. Now there's some variations on that flag as you see here. So we're going to try to get one that's pretty close as an approximation to that. More like this, I guess. So we'll go back over here to Illustrator. And we're going to go ahead and select each piece of text. I'm just going to hold my Shift key down. Get all of that at the same time here. And now what I'm going to do is get my eyedropper tool and select the yellow. And turn everything to yellow, as you see. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and do a right mouse click since I have all that text created. I'm going to convert it to uh, outlines. I don't want it to be text anymore. I just want it to be graphics. Okay, select that. Now I'll come out here to the right and deselect all of that. I'll bring this guy down here and I'll go ahead and use my uh, transform tool and rotate it around. Pull that over here. Okay, do the same with this one. Let's go back and look at that artwork real quick. Yeah, those letters are a little bigger than mine, so. Let's do a control Z and go back here and bring that back up there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to where it's all text, as you see here. I'm going to take this text and take it up to about, let's try 24. 
That's pretty big. Let's go back to 22. That's a little better. Let's try 20. That's probably more like what I need. Okay. Now again, right mouse click, create, create outlines. Looks pretty good. Move this down. Use my uh, E key. If you notice, if you come over here to so the E, to so the far right on that free transform. So I just hit my E key. That now lets me rotate this around the way I want. Okay. I'm just going to get this to it really pretty quick here. Move that out just a little bit. Come over here and use the V key, which is my black arrow. See so right here, V key. Select that guy. Rotate him around. Move him over to about uh, right there. Now go to the X key. Hit the V key. E key, I'm sorry. And we'll rotate that around. Push this up here. I'm not trying to make this too perfect, but just get kind of an approximation of what this would look like. Okay, go ahead and rotate that guy around as well. Is that over here? Remember, we're going to be using layer styles in this once we get it into Photoshop. So, you need a little spacing around it so you can get uh, the outer glow and all that kind of stuff in the way we want. So, always kind of be, got to be thinking ahead a little bit. Okay, you can hold your shift key down, it helps you move it at different angles and stuff. So, I'm going to go with that for right now. Hit the S key and rotate it around. Better S and E. Put that out right there. Uh, looks pretty good. Now, like with Photoshop, you can use your arrow keys to nudge things up. You want to nudge it up a lot. Hold your Shift arrow key and nudge it up a whole lot. So just kind of move that in there the way you want. Okay, looks pretty good. Alt Tab back to uh, the web. And yeah. Oh, I see. I got to make a change here. That A is actually uh, this way as opposed to the way I have it here. So I'll select that and rotate that um, A around. And let's take a look at it again. Pretty close. I think that's good enough for right now. So we'll go ahead and save our file. And we'll do a save as. I'm going to put it in the folder that we use it all the time in. Uh, we'll keep it there. It looks pretty good. And let's go up here to this one. Uh, use that one right there. I'll save the file there. And for this purpose, since I'm using everything in CS6, I'll leave it as a version CS6. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, what I want to do is just go ahead and do a polygonal uh, selection around all of this. It highlights all of this. I didn't get my, uh, if you notice, I didn't get the, the star. So what I'll do is unlock the star. And we'll do that again. Just do a Control A this time. It selects it all. And I'll do a control C to copy. Then I'll come over here into Photoshop. And now that I'm in Photoshop, I'm going to make sure that all my layers are locked that I've been working on. Come down here to the Richard Platt, lock that. And we'll take and collapse these layers as you see here. And now I'll go up to the very top layer, Industrial Designer. And I'll do a control V. And it says place a smart object. Um, I'm going to do a smart object first so that. I can make sure I can scale it and it looks pretty good. So I'll say OK. And it comes in and places the artwork right directly on top of my text. So I'll just move that over here to the right. That actually looks pretty good and what I would want to use. So if you notice it had created this new layer right here. Let's double click on that new layer. Oh, first I've got to place it here. Hit the uh, Move tool and it'll come back and says Place. I'll go ahead and select the place. I really like that. That looks kind of neat. So what I'm going to do now is I'll draw a box around that using the uh, marquee tool. I'll do a control C and a control V. And now I have two of those. I'll go back up to my move tool, hold my shift key down, and I'll drag those right out here to about right there. That uh, looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to industrial designer, select that layer, right mouse click, and copy the layer style. And come up here and we'll experiment with the first layer, one, which is over here to our left. And do a right mouse click and we'll paste layer style. Oh yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for right there. Let's go up here to the second one and we'll do the same thing, paste layer style. Cool, that looks really good. So, let's do our nudging tool a little bit, kind of move that off the edge. Yeah, that looks better. Come back over here to the first layer, do the same thing. Move that to the left a little bit. Now it's always good housekeeping to name your layers in the Illustrator as well as in Photoshop. I'm going to say left star. I'll come up here to this one. Right star. Okay. 
and I'll collapse my layers and I'll lock those layers okay so looks like we're in good shape let's go ahead and that's a good start for a banner we can come back and do a whole lot more work on it later if we want to but for our purposes in this first introductory website that's a good enough banner for right now so go ahead and stop now and uh, oh, before we stop we gotta save our file so come up here and we'll save our file and now what I'm going to do is save for web and this is important here when we save for web I'm going to set my quality on this one up to about 60 I can hit the slider and drag it up or I'm just selecting the key in 60 got to make sure my size is correct down here it says 1024 by 100 that's good my size of the file based on the parameters I've just keyed in creates me a 21.98 kilobyte file that's a good size file for a web banner it's kind of small but it does it is a big file so I'll go ahead and save that and I'll save this in my area where I keep all my files hit save and there you are okay we'll come back to this one.